Okay, you now so let's have a example on how to get the mean for group data. So here we have our data, so data which is more than 30. So in which in this case we will have an interval of more than one. So we have here uh, uh, 50, no? 50 data. So I, I took the liberty of screen of um, of arranging the data uh, on ascending order. So we begin with the lowest value up to the highest value. So we have here our lowest value and the highest value. So I also made the um, uh, some of the entries for our frequency distribution table. So for this one, the number of interval interval is equal to 15 so our interval size will be the range over the number of interval which is 15 so that will be 99 minus 10 over 15 and that will be let's have our calculator we have we have 99 minus 10 minus 10 over 15 and this will be equal to 5.93 okay so we have 5.933 so we just run up this one to the next um, highest add number and that will be this uh, 7 so our in the our the interval size divided by two in which we are going to base our uh, real limits so that will be seven over two and that will be three point five so we have here the table so the lower real limit so this this will just be the the uh, low the highest value or the highest the highest data minus the um, is over 2 so that will be 99 minus 3.5 so we have 95.5 then we just do the interval so this is 7 so 9.5 plus 7 so we have 102.5 so on and so forth then for the integral limit so we have this one also so just round up the lower real limit and round down the uh, upper in upper real limit so now we will go directly to the tally so first we just copy our table here this one the already arranged table or table now the already arranged data there is some problem with the laptop it's lagging sometimes okay so we have now this one okay so we now have the tally so first from 96 to 99 so we need to have the data this this one the data from 96 to 99 so we uh, 96 to 102 so this one one two three four so we have one two three four then from 95 to 89 so we have one two three four five six Seven. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then from 82 to 88. So let's just review first the 95 to uh, 89 and 95. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, just erase this one. Then 82 to 88, you have 1, 2, 3, 4. You have 1, 2, 3, 4. Then from 79 to 70, uh, 75 to 81, so you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So only 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then from 68 to 74, oh no. What is 68? 68 to 74, okay. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this will be 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We just have this one as 
a group. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, this one also we just have this one in a group so that we could easily. So, this is 7. Okay. Then, you have 61 to 67. So, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 54 to 60, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then, 47 to 53, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 40 to 46, so we have 1, 2, 1, 2, 33 to 39, so that will be 0, 26 to 32, this will be again, so this is 1, 19 to 25, 0, we have 12 to 18, 0, and our 5 to 11, 1, so this 10 here, 1, so let's have the frequency, this will be 4, 7, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 8, 7, 6, 5, 2, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. Okay, let's check first if this is equal to 50. So we have 4 plus 7 plus 4 plus 5 plus 8 plus 7 plus 6, plus 5, plus 2, plus 1, plus 1. So, 0, 0, 0. Okay, so that is equal to 50. Now, we will get the midpoint. Okay, midpoint. Just have our calculator. So, we just have that one as 96 plus 102. That is equal to 90. 198 divide 2 and that will be 99. Okay, so this will be 99. 99. Then we just deduct 7 from our 99. 99 minus 7. So 92 and that will be so on and so forth. We have 99 minus 7, 92. My minus 7 again so this would be 85 minus 7 78 minus 7 71 minus 7 64 minus 7 57 again minus 7 it will be 50 43 36 29 22, 15, and 8. Okay, now we will have this one, the summation of F. This is not summation, but only F times the midpoint, the frequency times the midpoint. So we have nine, 4 times 99. So we have 4 times 99. So that will be 396. So this one is in blue. 396. Then 7 times 92. So that will be 644. 644. Then we have 4 times 85. So this will be 340. 5 times 78. Is 390. We have 8 times 71. This will be 568. We have 7 times 64. This will be 448. Then we have 6 times 57. So this is 342. Then we have 5 times 50, so this is 250. Then we have 43 times 43 times 2, so this is 86. 
and you have 0 times 36 that will be 0 1 times 29 that is 29 22 times 0 0 15 times 0 that will be 0 and 1 times 8 that will be 8 then we will get their sum summation of frequency times the midpoint okay so let's have that one we have let's add everything 396 up to this uh, last number which is 8 so we have let's just show the calculation here we have 396 plus 694 plus 340 plus 390 plus 568 plus 448 plus 342 plus 250 plus 86 plus 29 plus 8 is equal to 3 3551 so we have Here, 3,551. And that is our summation of the frequency times the midpoint. Okay, now we will go to computing our mean. Okay, so our mean is equal to the summation of the frequency times the midpoint over our summation of the x or our frequency or the total number of data so we have summation of f frequency times the midpoint that will be 351 3551 3, over our frequency which is or the total number of data which is 50 okay so let's have that one in our calculator so we have already 3551 here we just divide it by 50 and that is now equal to 71.02 to so 71.02 and this is now our mean this is now our mean okay so thank you for watching this video and as always keep on studying